All right, guys. Years ago, we had the Z1, which was an EPP 55 inch flying wing, and it went between 54 and like 62, 63 inches. A um, few years later, we came back out with a new wing and got rid of the EPP, and we went with the Z2 that you can see here. And when we did the Z2, we decided at that time that we would also do its big brother and we did the wing extensions for it and we made it into the ZXL. Well, years and years of flying the ZXL, we love that airplane. Well, what we did this last week is we took on a big project and we turned around and we took that Z2 and we redesigned it and we made it to where it can fit mass batteries you can fit mass ion in here these are a couple 6600 4s packs that are in here right now just to kind of give you an idea for size we gave you an area for pitot tube gps all of the components to hit the leading edge here and we did it for fun on both sides so there's there'll be caps for the bottom bays on each one of these sides um, this aircraft now is all routed out all these pockets and everything are done the lids are all done this is the very first one before we had it all done in the router so it's kind of like the, the hand done one um, but this is kind of the basic show of what we have here you got an internal main that's inside that's drilled and then you're gonna have three on the top and three on the bottom fiberglass rod spars you got your servos you got your really big cutout for a larger propeller um, now, if you look at it, you got about a half, on the very back of it, you got it, the motor sits in about a half inch farther than on the standard um, Z2. And you can kind of see that right there. But look at the room in comparison. Let me put the back edge here. Look at the room in comparison of what you had in the original Z2. I mean, you really didn't have that much room. This whole area was taken out. Now you have room for all your gear to be swimming in. You can do video transmitter in one side you can do your drag link or your crossfire in one side so kind of give you enough areas to do whatever you want um, when we did that we decided at the same time let's go ahead and make the extensions now you can see the new version of this aircraft everything is drill bit routered all around the edges you got you can leave all of your areas in if you want to put your servos in a different area you can put them in a different area just leave the block in all the blocks have tabs where you can either cut them out or leave them in you can pick your poison you'll you'll get the center blocks that come with it so you'll have those center blocks that will be in there so all of the pieces are cut out but that they can be left in there so if you want to change up the build a little bit you can um, the only drawback we have here on this aircraft is the routered areas that you run your strip spars in stop here because our machine can't go over about 48 inches in our router to get out here. So basically you will have to finish these strip spars out to the tip, which is basically lay a straight edge on there, run a little hot knife or a razor enough to fit your fiberglass rod spar in it. But you basically get the kit. You can use hot glue or 3M90. You can glue the ends on. And now you have your 54 inch Z2, or actually now this is the Z2.5. Now it is made up to 80 inches. And you can see it's the same plane as the EPP plane. I'm sorry, the EPO ZXL version that's on the bottom. So now we have the capabilities of having a ZXL in EPP. People have been asking me for years to make the XL out of EPP and the same with the Z2 they're telling me bring back the Z1 well the Z1 was awesome so we, we did is we kind of brought back a derivative of both of them brought back the, the Zephyr in the Z2's profile and left it as a pointy nose so um, we'll be making some 3d nose pieces for all the different types of cameras that can be cut right into the nose you can see how all of this is routed out for you it'll have all the lids and everything for it these areas are left a fairly stout for the pockets that are in there. So if you do want to leave them in, easily can be done. Just leave them in. Um, I think what we're going to be doing with this is making um, long distance, long range flyers and stuff 
um, for night flying. Basically, we'll be putting lights in the leading edges and leaving these white and uh, having full vectors in these and flying these around in the evenings and the night for uh, fun, low, slow proximity with lights on them. Um, you can see back in the day, this is one of the older XLs we have sitting in the shop that gets flown. Back in the day, stick a GoPro on the front um, right into the pocket. We had landing gear on it for the street out here. So we're thinking about even making some kind of a, you know, just for at least the nose to keep the nose off the ground is some kind of a landing gear for the front. That might be a single wheel that will fit between a couple uh, 3d printed, um, either a box or a, a couple skids that'll have a nose wheel in it. And then the replaceable fins that are always on the right wing aircraft. So, you know, they can be replaced, but you know, you basically now have the capabilities of having this big, huge aircraft, but now it's out of EPP. So had a couple of people asking me the last few weeks for it. We've been wanting some here for ourselves, So we took the project on and uh, made some for ourselves, and uh, we'll be taking special orders for these aircraft. It's not something that we're going to produce um, unless we have orders for them, um, either from vendors, um, you know, in five or more or unless we have them directly from our customers. They're just too much work to do, and the amount of foam these things take is crazy. But if you want an aircraft that's gonna last you forever, it's gonna be a long range plane, something that you wanna build to last, it's a, just a fun floater, um, get the XL. And if you want the, the built to last, super strong, um, Z2.5, the foam is the same stuff. We're making all the hardcore wings out of it, so, Back in the day when we originally made it, we made it out of one three. This is this is two. Uh, I think it's like two four, two five is what it's made out of. So it's made out of a little bit more dense foam, and boy, is it stiff. The way this thing is sparred up with the center spars in here, it's got one center tube spar. It's drilled. You can see where we have the hole. So you basically got one central tube spar. Your motor mount will get cut in just above it. You drop all the fiber spars in it, you sink that center spar in with Gorilla Glue, and once those spars dry up, and you got this thing in the wing bed, oh my gosh, it's crazy, crazy, crazy stiff. And you can see the bottom, all the lids on the bottom, so for all the different servos and all the different stuff, so. Thought you guys would like this. A lot of people have been asking for it, so if you're interested in uh, pre-sale on any of this stuff to get your name in line to get some get one of these cut get a hold of me we'll get you going